So we want to simply inform the public that uh, our testings continue uh, to investigate the tragic murder of uh, Isma Ibrahim Tusuvira. Uh, others used to call him Olaxes, Alias uh, uh, JJ Chuli. We put up uh, competent uh, uh, teams uh, from CID Crime Intelligence, Forensics, uh, our IT uh, Directorate, uh, together with the, our Kampala Metropolitan teams to investigate this tragic murder by shooting of the video blogger and political analyst, analyst which happened uh, near his home at Changa Central Zone. So we are continuing to gather evidence and interview witnesses to help determine the circumstances of the case. What we con can confirm is that it was not a random attack, uh, but uh, a targeted incident where two assailants armed with one pistol emerged from their hideout near his gate, and the armed assailant fired multiple shots at close range. Uh, killing him instantly from the passenger seats. It was very unfortunate. His driver, Waiswa Mathias, remained unscathed without uh, any injuries, despite the bullets which were riddled, uh, despite bullets which riddled the driver's side. Uh, and because of that, uh, the driver, Waiswa, is still in our protective custody, helping out with certain lines of inquiry. Uh, the two assailants managed to get away uh, on, on foot. Our canine uh, managed to trail the scent up to one of the main roads where it is believed uh, they boarded uh, a motorcycle and, uh, and escaped. Uh, they dropped one, one glove which we believe was used by the shooter, uh, which the canine was able to uh, to, to help recover. So outside the driver, we also have two other suspects who have been arrested. So together we have three people whom we are, we are, we are interviewing uh, for now. We are also reviewing the entire movement of the victim and his driver from Monyonyo, where he was playing football at around 4 p.m. via the Entebbe Expressway. Uh, they stopped over for dinner at Nyakana's bar in Mutungo, and uh, uh, they left Nyakana's bar at around 8.15 for his home. Uh, there's another interesting part, of course, that uh, our cyber teams uh, are following, is that uh, as soon as they left uh, uh, Mutungo, when they reached uh, Munyonyo roundabout, uh, the victim, uh, Isma, received a phone call and he asked the driver, Waiswa, to park aside uh, near Munyonyo roundabout because the person behind the phone was telling him that, okay, you wait for me, let me come and meet you there. Uh, so they waited for the person behind that phone call in vain. He did not appear, so they drove on until when they reached the gate at around uh, 9.20 to 9.30 p.m., where they were attacked and the victim shot dead. So it's not clear whether the caller is linked to the masterminds of this murder uh, or not, but our investigations will be able to establish uh, in due course. At this stage, the motive of the murder has not yet been established but uh, there is uh, uh, a lot of rampant speculation about the murder by different bloggers, netizens, the media. Everybody is bringing out uh, his version. Uh, but uh, uh, we call upon the public to, to remain calm and patient. Uh, this continuous speculation is a disservice, first of all, to the family and, uh, and the public. Uh, because uh, those many versions have not yet been verified. Uh, we are aware that some of these videos were controversial, uh, but we are yet to establish whether his murder is related to his social media work uh, or other motive. So our thoughts continue to be with his immediate family, friends, relatives, and all well-wishers 
affected by the sad incident. Uh, right now, our task teams, like I've indicated, are working diligently in trying to identify the persons responsible. We are building on uh, the information from the three suspects, and uh, we shall be giving you uh, more updates in due course.